Hello, and welcome to today's show, Legacy Living, Make Your Life Count. I'm your host, Dr. Gloria, Gloria Burgess, international leadership expert and trusted advisor. Welcome to Legacy Living, Make Your Life Count. I'm so delighted that you joined me today. I have a very special show for you. I'm going to share with you some of my favorite words of wisdom from some of my favorite people in the world. Today, I am going to focus specifically on inspirational words. I'm also going to ask you to share the wealth. After you listen to this show, I want you to tell a friend and I want you to come back to this podcast over and over and over again when you need some words of encouragement or words to edify you, words to lift your spirit. In fact, if you love inspiring words like I do, you can go to my website and subscribe to my weekly inspirations. That way, you can get a breath of fresh air in your inbox to start your week. I'll tell you more about that later in the podcast. Okay, let's get started. The most inspiring words come from wonderfully different sources. Ultimately, the words come from the master creator, God, the great overall designer. Art is human perception of natural beauty. It is also, in its very performance, the unique and miraculous beauty of being human. Art washes from the soul the dust of everyday life. There is nothing more truly artistic than to love people. We shall draw from the heart of suffering itself, the means of inspiration and survival. This is precisely the time when artists go to work, not when everything is fine, but in times of dread. Imagination is the power that enables us to empathize with humans whose experiences we have never shared. Art is the only thing you cannot punch a button for. You must do it the old-fashioned way. Stay up and really burn the midnight oil. There are no compromises. Every day, our streets and school buses become art galleries in the form of perfectly spiked hair, zigzagging cornrows, and dizzying shoelace artistry. No one is born hating another person because of the color of his skin or his background or his religion. People must learn to hate and if they can learn to hate, they can be taught to love. For love comes more naturally to the human heart than its opposite. We do not need magic to change the world. We carry all the power we need inside ourselves already. We have the power to imagine 
something better. There is in every person an inward sea. And in that sea, there is an island. And on that island, there is an altar. And standing guard before that altar is the angel with the flaming sword. Nothing can get by that angel to be placed upon the altar unless it has the mark of your inner authority. Nothing passes the angel with the flaming sword to be placed upon your altar unless it be a part of the fluid area of your consent. This is your crucial link with the eternal. If we do not permit the earth to produce beauty and joy, it will in the end not produce food either. Words lead to deeds. They prepare the soul, make it ready, and move it to tenderness. And the day came when the risk it took to remain tight inside the bud was more painful than the risk it took to blossom. It's the little things citizens do. That's what will make the difference. My little thing is planting trees. One generation plants trees, another enjoys the shade. There are two ways to live your life. One is as though nothing is a miracle. The other is as though everything is a miracle. You must give birth to your images. They are the future waiting to be born. Fear not the strangeness you feel. The future must enter you long before it happens. The heart that breaks open can contain the whole universe. Your heart is that large. Trust it. Keep breathing. Do not think that love, in order to be genuine, has to be extraordinary. What we need is to love without getting tired. The shadows and rain of today will nourish the blossoms of tomorrow. Let us put our minds together and see what life we can make for our children. There are only two lasting bequests we can hope to give our children. One is roots, the other wings. If you save one person you save the whole world. You get the best efforts from others, 
not by lighting a fire beneath them, but by building a fire within. You are a lake with a channel to the sea. Be ashamed to seek water from a pool. We are the mirror as well as the face in it. We are tasting the taste this minute of eternity. We are pain and what cures pain. We are the sweet cold water and the jar that pours. Out beyond ideas of wrongdoing and right-doing, there is a field. I'll meet you there. Until one is committed, there is always hesitancy, the chance to draw back always in effectiveness. Concerning all acts of initiative and creation, there is one elementary truth, the ignorance of which kills countless ideas and splendid plans. That the moment one definitely commits oneself, then providence moves too. All sorts of things occur to help one that would never otherwise have occurred. A whole stream of events issues from the decision, raising in one's favor all manner of unforeseen incidents and meetings and material assistance, which no man could have dreamt would have come his way. I have learned a deep respect for one of Goethe's couplets. Whatever you can do or dream you can, begin it. Boldness has genius, power, and magic in it. Where there is no vision, the people perish. I try to make my mind large as the universe is large so that there is room for paradoxes. Your language is the distance between you and what you need. You cannot think any deeper than your vocabulary will allow you to. You can't be what you can't see. Sometimes our light goes out, but it is blown again into flame by an encounter with another human being. Each of us owes the deepest thanks to those who have rekindled this inner light. Never let the cacophony of your mind drown out the symphony of your heart. Speak from your heart. Don't bottle up your music or your voice. Be brave. Poetry is a balancing between intellect and intuition, and if one must choose between the two, one should always fall on the side of intuition.
Art is human perception of natural beauty. It is also, in its very performance, the unique and miraculous beauty of being human. The experience of art, its making, and its enjoyment is what makes us both human and humane. According to the ancient scriptures, oral and written, of people worldwide, one of the main purposes of music in life is to lead to uplift and enlightenment, establish and maintain moral consciousness and responsibility, and to assist in the continued spiritual evolution of humanity. There is a vitality, a life force, a quickening that is translated through you into action. And because there is only one of you in all time, the expression is unique. And if you block it, it will never exist through any other medium, and it will be lost. It is not your business to determine how good it is, not how valuable it is, not how it compares with other expressions. It is your business to keep it yours clearly and directly, to keep the channel open. I have never thought of writing for the reputation and honor. What I have in my heart must come out. That is the reason why I compose. In this endeavor to wed the vision of the old world with that of the new, it is the writer, not the statesman, who is our strongest arm. Though we do not wholly believe it yet, the interior life is a real life, and the intangible dreams of people have a tangible effect on the world. Don't ask what the world needs. Ask what makes you come alive and go do it. Because what the world needs is more people who have come alive. Inspirations. I just love these inspiring words. Words that have brought so much gratitude, hope, and joy into my life. I hope these words have inspired you as well. That word, inspire, comes from the Latin, inspirare. Don't you just love the sound of that? Inspirare, which means to breathe into or to breathe upon. So let these words just breathe into you. Let these words inspire you to new life, new hope, new joy, as they breathe into you and minister to you. Now, I want you to be sure, don't keep it all to yourself, share the wealth, share your blessings at somebody else's table. That's how you do it. That's how you make your life count. 
If you want to be the change you seek, remember this, how you live is how you lead. You have the power to make our world a better place. All right. I want you to be sure to listen to this podcast again and again. And hey, (laughs) be sure to tell somebody. Now, you can find me right here on iTunes, Alexa, SoundCloud, Spreaker.com, Talk Network Radio, and so many other places. If you happen to miss any part of this week's show, or if you missed last week's, you can simply download the recording and listen at your convenience. You can even listen on the go. Check us out at www.talknetworkradio.com forward slash legacy living dot html. Now I know that's a mouthful. I'm going to say it again. www.talknetworkradio.com forward slash legacy living dot html. You can learn more about my work and legacy living make your life count by visiting the Gloria Burgess website. That's the Gloria Burgess website. And I mentioned earlier in the show, that you can also subscribe to my inspirations on my website. Just scroll down a little bit and look on the right hand side on that right sidebar until you see the place to add your email to subscribe to my weekly inspirations. Yep, it's that simple. So again, to learn more about me and my work, just browse a bit on my website. And that's GloriaBurgess.com. Or visit me on LinkedIn or on Facebook. And on Facebook, you can find me here, facebook.com forward slash DR for Dr. DR Gloria Burgess, PhD. Okay? All right. Before I close today, I want to thank each of you for tuning in to our show, for allowing me to share a bit about my journey with what legacy living is all about. Not just living and learning, but living and learning and serving so that you make a difference in your own life and in the lives of others. It's about being on purpose every single day, 365, 24-7. Legacy living is a powerful way to make your life count. Once again, I want to thank you for joining me for today's show. I'm your host, Dr. Gloria, Gloria Burgess, and this is Legacy Living, Make Your Life Count. Please join me again next time, right here on Talk Network Radio, for another show of Legacy Living, Make Your Life Count. Don't just count the days in your life. Make the days in your life count. That's what Legacy Living is all about. Have a fantastic day, and remember, make the days in your life count. God bless. That's our show today. I'm your host, Dr. Gloria, Gloria Burgess. I hope you'll join me again next time. Until then, don't just count the days in your life. Make the days in your life count. That's what legacy living is all about. Here's to you. Have a fantastic day and be sure to make it a yes kind of day. Remember to celebrate the music of your life. Make the days in your life count.